decades more um, and be providing them in that entire time. Now, if you see Jim kind of rubbing the top of the snake's head here, he is not trying to force the venom out. He's simply trying to irritate the snake a little bit and encourage it to give more venom. Snake's heads are very flexible, so even though it does look like he's pushing on their head, their heads are flexible, they can easily move around. He's using a similar amount of pressure that you would use if you were going to scratch the ears of a dog or a cat. I couldn't hear. This is why I didn't give up. No, I heard you. I couldn't hear her. <laughs> I gave you a shout out to the guys. I didn't want to give you a shout out to the guys. Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of do 200 a day. He'll milk 200 snakes a day, 200 diamond a day. There you go. That yeah, looks like a female. That looks like a female. It is a female. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, the other one was a male, but so. All right, here goes Jim doing his thing. Now, those of you who may not be as familiar with snakes, as he is working with these, see if you can count how many times the snakes actually strike at him. Oh. You'll notice that most of the time, the snakes are not trying to hurt it. They're simply trying to either run away or they're not really reacting much at all. And you can see there's a whole bunch of snakes in here, and I can't promise you that none of them will strike. But for the most part, they're going to try to run away or stay hidden as much as they can. And snakes in the wild are certainly going to do that as well. They really just want to be left alone, they don't want to be bothered. Now, of course, when he picks them up by the neck, that's a giant animal grabbing them, their reaction is to try to protect themselves, so that's why they give them. Is that another female?
have to be 200 today, right? <laughs> I know that on some days. Yeah, the, the one big group we have. Up in a second, but this snake is actually gravid or pregnant. Oh. She's a little chunky. <laughs> and if you look, this area here where she's nice and round, you can actually see the lumps of the babies in her. So she's probably reasonably close to giving birth within a few weeks, maybe. Gestation about five or six months. Well, it depends on if they breed in the spring or the fall. If they breed in the fall, they don't have the babies until the next spring. Yeah. Much longer. If they breed in the spring, they can have babies in late summer or fall. <laughs> yeah, they, they have fun. Yeah, I am. You're good. Still. They bred really good for me. I've never had a spring one. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you guys got. That left snake that you know, I've like, never seen one that big. Oh, God. Can you guys sell the anti venom? No. You can't sell it. Anti venom is an FDA controlled substance. No, what do you got, special license? You have, you have, that, you have to have The venom hunter is kind of a joke. You have to have an investigation. <laughs> if you guys want to come up here, you can. It's okay. You're short. People can see over you. We're not in striking range. <laughs> Let Jim comes over here and goes, hey. You're good. You can have a seat here if you want to. Here, guys. Sure. It, these are Western Diamondbacks that he's extracting from. I do know that. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe I should have said you get this off. Okay, I've got your snake. Jim's future assistant right here, yeah. yeah. We should probably switch after that one. Oh, that's a big old fat mouse. Wow. A big old fat gun back. Okay, there goes the male. Wow. Oh, look at No, actually, a lot of times they won't eat when they're grabbing because the babies are taking so much after they drop. Also, you can look and see how many rings. More than four rings usually means it's a male. Got a curious one. He'd love to get you, Jim. He's trying to get away. He wants to go the other way. Now I know why you have the You gotta, you gotta give them support. They wouldn't let you guys bring any of that. Just the back. Yeah, they don't want to bring any of that. Yeah, they don't want to bring any of that. First one that I caught it was stuck on some of the mountain trap. I mean the glue. Yeah. You know, salad oil works. Isn't that really cool? No, to get them off the stick. Would you marinate it? Yeah, it's very nice. It's got a smash out there. No one can't do that. Just one second while I change the vial, guys. No. You should have to do 200 today, Jim. Yeah, no, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the reason we're changing the vial, these are fish and wild vials, and they're for in the front. So we can break the freeze them if we fill them more than halfway. They shat. Which means then the gun's worth nothing. You have glass in there, and they just destroy the vial. So, the indestructible bottle is not in the front. It's supposed to be able to be frozen to minus 175 degrees, 
but we do it with the gun arm at seven. She's going to show you the vent real quick, then we have two more laps, and if you have any questions, we'll be around for a little bit. We'll be around for a little bit. We don't have to milk anymore today, so I don't have to worry. See that that's the poison, oh, you can, so I hate it as long as you got an ulcer. Yeah, well, here's one thing that's the that myth about that. Is you can drink some of the uh, simonensis, not just simonensis, but it's bitter. It develops a venom that is actually easy to absorb. I had some woman here in Texas decide she wanted to taste it. Go up your airway after you have to practice. Which means we had to put a trach in her throat so she could breathe. So she could breathe. So really? Yeah, you don't drink venom. So uh, actually, the other thing that will happen, most of the guys will develop a little bit of a resistance. What is it? Salmonella. There's salmonella in that. You are? So any of the snakes carry salmonella, you're shedding it all the time. You want to play around with me? I'll get you a play around with me. Well, you know, I don't like being on the floor. I tasted my Northern Pacific, I just, just you know, like years ago I did. Yeah. Oh, I, I tasted it accidentally and I don't blink. Is it I from developed, the spitter? I developed a habit of not blinking. And sometimes when these guys you know, spray down, I sometimes get in my eye. But actually I have my eye hanging out the side of my face. Well, really? Not that. That was like a saturation. Keep it up. You know, the crap. So, yeah, yeah, I'm real. You just, yeah. you just kept an eye out for us, right? <laughs> we have individual cages for all of our snakes, like the rack system. But I'll go through and do two to three hundred snakes in two and a half hour period. And now you know when I say on the internet, somebody says they can't believe I'm doing it. You can tell just by this, it doesn't take anything. No. It's, less than, it's less than a minute. If it does, you know, if it's exciting for you guys and takes me time to do it, it means I screwed up and did something wrong. You know, I want it to be boring. I want it to be so that I get home without all my fingers left and not in any pain. You want to do it quickly to get it done with less stress on the Right, right. It's less stress on the animals to do it quickly. Less stress on him. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're continually messing with the animal for a longer, longer period of time. It's not good for them. I see him in the uh, in recovery. Uh, hey, sweetheart, just make sure you're not leaning on this, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Let me, let me tell one thing with this guy before for the way. You'll see guys like Jeff Corwin, and Jeff Corwin's probably one of the better feeding hosts out there. But you'll see him do stuff when they're talking about the snake, and they'll be putting their finger and getting their finger closer. Right there, they can reach out and grab it. One time we were working with one of the producers, and the guy was definitely getting too close to the finger and I had to tell the producer to give him a stop. But right here, he can still bite you. So I actually saw Jeff Horn touch the nose of a Okay, sure. Him, like he wasn't paying attention. You get tunnel vision. So don't ever get your hand in front of a snake. Don't put your hand. There's no reason to pin a snake up for a selfie or anything like that. No. Idiotic. All you're going to do is get yourself bit. It doesn't make you manly or anything, it makes you stupid. <laughs> the only reason we do this, these venom, this venom is actually used. So I would never milk a snake and put it through this stress or put myself through stress unless the venom would be used. No. That's not, I catch that size a lot. Yeah, that's the one we want to all right, this is the last snake right now. Well, they must have. Maybe they were just close. He would have been, he probably would have been about, probably a little smaller. Yeah, that's the outrounds. Instead of releasing them. Look at that. I released him in a good area. So. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, he always tried to kill me. <laughs> that's nasty to say, but. See these two big guys when they're down, you can know. I'm just going to say, yeah. yeah. Don't drop a baby on him. Yeah. Or he'll put him under his arm sometime. I mean, he usually does it with his legs. Right? Right. He'll the venom coming out of the tank. Yeah. Uh, just like putting somebody in an iron bar with jujitsu. If I don't 
have him in the right position. He jerks out of my arm. He stabs me with a fang. I don't get tapped. I get to go to the hospital and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and be in a lot of pain. Oh, yeah. You got insurance, right, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> they hate me. Not because of snake bites, I hate it because I had to have a new hip recently. Oh, yeah. Be real careful, guys. Don't, don't lean up on that, okay? That's going to fall over on you. It's not real snake. That's the way. You guys got to be scared. Yeah. Hey, Jim.